Ash for clunkers, yeah. Okay, second stage. Which mighty ranger shall we pick? We've gave Billy a try. There's five stages total, I think, so... I don't know. Jason, Kimberly, Zack, or Trini? Fuck it, I vote... Personally, I vote Jason. Let's get... That or... Actually, I vote Zack. Yeah, let's get Zack out of the way. He, uh... Hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was like that too. There was uh, that was, but that was back in the day when you had like the the gigantic satellite dishes too. You know, it, it wasn't just like this little tiny thing you mount on your house. It was, it was fucking this massive thing you had in your backyard that would like collect water and everything. <laughs> Of course, I remember on top of that, another show that I really enjoyed, aside from the Power Rangers when I was real little, was uh, a, uh, a cartoon called The Centurions. Yeah, that I don't know if anybody remembers that in the chat, but no oh, hell yeah. Seriously? So I think, if I'm not mistaken, if you could pull off a... Uh, like a full combo with Zack here. He, uh... He does, like, some breakdance moves. There you go, yeah. Alright, yeah. He's... He's the breakdancer. Of course, I just can't really get over what they did to his mouth there with the sprite, but still. Oh, well. Whoops. Zack's just way too slow for me, I don't know, I, I, I think it's just like aesthetics, I, I think mostly they're all the same, maybe slightly different ranges on their attacks, but, I don't know, Zack just seems like slow and clunky to me, I don't know. Damn, Barrel, come back here! Biker Mice from Mars, hell yeah. That, uh... Oh, wow, that was... Jesus. Yeah, wasn't that on the Sega Genesis as well? Wow, that... Fuck. Of course, then again, I remember playing, like, Pong on, like, the old, uh... The old Atari home console or whatever it was, so... <laughs> In television, fuck yeah, that's where it's at, yo, in television. <laughs> Recent thing, what's up, man? <laughs> oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, Woolly Mammoth or whatever its fucking power was. Or Mastodon, that's what it was, yeah, Mastodon, hell yeah. guys do I really have? Oh wow, you can air throw. I, this is a rather technical game. I had no idea you could do that. <laughs> How nifty. So here's a fun fact for you. When, uh, back in the early days of like 2007 when I was first starting, uh, like Let's Play and all that bullshit, I actually did an LP of this game way, way back then. This was like my third one or whatever it was. Yeah, it... Standard YouTube quality, it fucking sucked. Hence why you will not find it anywhere now. Ah, 
seriously. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on what kind of pizza it is, man. That's... Besides, the weather changing every five minutes is like Oklahoma. That's... that's... Tell you what, it's... La well, for example, last week it got up into the 70s, alright? Now this week, like right now outside today, it's fucking 33, I think. It's just above freezing, so... Oklahoma cannot make up its mind on shit, weather included. No, I highly doubt that, sir. I, I gotta... I gotta disagree with you on that. Plus, Oklahoma has some rather nifty, some extra nifty fuckery going on. It, uh, usually in the summer, we can look forward to at least four weeks of non-stop 100 plus degrees. Hottest part of the year, I think it gets up to like 100 and... I think the hottest I've ever seen it was 122 here. Uh, yeah, that's, and it's not like a fucking dry heat either out there in, uh... In, uh, like Arizona or the desert or whatever. Oklahoma just sucks all around. I, I will be so glad when I can get the fuck out of this state. I, I, I really do not like it. <laughs> nice, Zach. Very graceful. Oops. Well, that could have gone better. Actually, video game pull, like, now that you mention that, uh, you know that, like, all this, this big hype that global warming is getting, you know, Al Gore, blah, blah, blah. Back in the 70s, the going thing was global cooling. You do know this, right? Oh, yeah, everybody was afraid that we were going to have, like, another ice age and shit. And that was, uh, that was the going thing back in the 70s, so. 30 years later, well, fuck it. The ice age never came. Let's, let's switch our prediction. Now it's global warming. Yeah, sure. It is. That's exactly what it is, video game pool. Like, I mean, there's... There's there's no question that, you know... I mean, it's... On average, it's getting a little hotter, sure. But, I mean, come on, it's... I don't see the Earth ending or anything like that. Look at this. Okay, the Earth has survived fucking meteor strikes. Uh, it's, you know, tectonic plate shifting. We've got fucking volcanoes, super volcanoes, tidal shifts, you know, polar change. And these motherfuckers think like some plastic bags and some factories are gonna fuck the planet. Really, give me a break. Earth's gonna shake us off like a bad case of fleas. Give me a break. We may be like a minor threat to the Earth right now. Plus, Al Gore is like the biggest fucking hypocrite there is. All this, all this spouting off he's doing on this global warming nonsense. And, uh, you know, you can buy like these, these... What was the going thing, uh, like a couple years ago? You could buy these, uh... What the fuck did he call them? They were, uh... It was like green chips or some shit like that, or carbon credits, there you go. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> carbon credits, yeah, mm, right. Anyway, you know, and he's, he's spouting off all this stuff, you know, our, our, uh, our vehicle emissions are really fucking the planet up, our factory, you know, every, everything, our, our industrialization, it's, it's killing the planet. And here he is flying, you know, coast to coast, worldwide, in this massive fucking jet of his. You know, like constantly. So, you know, Al Gore can go jump off the earth. Plus, I mean, fuck it. We do owe the internet to Al Gore after all, so I guess he did something okay, right? Sure.
I really hate this guy. I really do. <laughs> Carbon credits are a scam that they come up with for, uh, like, factories and whatnot, you know, in industrialized companies. Uh, depending on, like, the amount of pollution you, 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 uh, they created, uh, you know, there's only a certain amount allowed by the EPA. However, companies can buy what's called carbon credits, and it will extend the amount of pollution that they're allowed to uh, produce. That's that's basically what a carbon credit is. And the thing of it is that Al Gore was talking about uh, implementing some kind of a form of this on the public to where, you know, you drive your car, you have to buy so many, like, carbon credits or some shit. It was really, really stupid. And, uh, so far it hasn't gone anywhere, but I look for, Honestly, I look forward to in the near future, because people are just morons now. They really are. And they've got nothing better to do. So it's gonna happen. Coming to an America near you soon. Rest assured. Also, I need to pay attention to the boss I'm fighting here. That might help. <sighs> really? <laughs> My god. Don't tell me I'm going to die to this boss. <laughs> there you go. Come get you some, motherfucker. There we go. And that's a very unflattering pose you took there, uh, but okay. The backflip was totally worth it there, Zach. Good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah, I mean, Arrowman, that's true. Yeah, Britain, uh, a lot of countries over there in Europe do have that. And uh, and don't get me wrong, if they implemented it over here in the U.S., people would still drive and shit. So yeah, of course, absolutely. But I mean, that doesn't make it any less fucking retarded. You know, honestly, all it is is just a money grab. That's all it is. It's, it's a money grab by the government. And the various companies that have a hand in that shit. Because I can, you can guarantee that the politicians that are voting this shit through are getting some kind of a kickback from a lot of the companies that are pushing this through. Anyway, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Anyway, uh, I gotta go. It's 7 o'clock. It's dinner time. I gotta find something to cook with. Uh, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, we got done with X3, so that's a good thing. Um, got a little bit of a political discussion going there during a Power Rangers game. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> Um, I don't know. If I get a day off this Friday, I might stream some more, but I'm not sure if I'm going to. Uh, otherwise, it'll probably be next Tuesday. And I'm going to try and get, uh, like I say, the PlayStation emulator going really well. And uh, either get maybe Mega Man X4 going, or I'd really like to stream Resident Evil 2. I uh, had a lot of fun with that game back in the day, and I'd like to get that going again. But uh, you never know. Depends on what I can get working. Anyway... Hope everybody enjoyed, and uh, have a good one, okay? Take it easy.